Hello friends and welcome to Minecraft Story Mode. We're doing something different today with Telltale Games' recently released game that a lot of people are looking forward to, and so am I. So, we're gonna play as Jesse, apparently, the protagonist of the story. Let's see what's going on. I do enjoy me some Telltale Games. Of course, you may know I've already done Walking Dead and the Game of Thrones. I do have to resume that, but I have done some in the past. Yes, we can actually change up Jesse's appearance. Let's see. I do like that appearance for Jesse. Episode 1, Order of the Stone. Yes, let's find out what in the world is going on. Everyone's focused in on our command block. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored to how you play. Nothing built can last forever. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious, and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. Well, that's pretty cool. I like the way this started off already. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies? Or ten zombie-sized chickens. Yeah, Just really? to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. Chicken-sized zombies. Easy. I'll take the uh, the little tiny little zombies. A hundred of them, crawling all over you with their tiny hands. Uh, all I need is like a shovel. I'm telling you, way too easy. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like... I don't know. Amateurs. The people love My him. wingman. People always want to talk to the guy with the pig. You mean talk about the guy with the pig. Like, look at the weird guy with the weird pig. How weird. No. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. Who cares what they think? I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. I like that line. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> Look, you made the pig fall. Ow, man. You guys totally freaked out. Now we're gone. Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm going to smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. That wasn't funny, Axel. I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for you it? You scared us half to death. Did you bring the fireworks? 
Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Boom. Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. <laughs> he looks awesome. Gotta it only say. took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. See, now he's your wingman. Stop. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. All right, so we get to go ahead and do with all games we do in these Telltale series. We get to look around for a bit. With the banner, what do we got? Very cool looking banner. One of these days, we're going to win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. They really should change the name. Yeah, maybe. What's in the chest, huh? Shears definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Right? You come in handy, Gabriel. Gabriel the Warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. See, I like this guy. He's very optimistic. He's got that half glass full kind of thing. That's always a good thing to have. All right, so oh, here we go. Search. Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. Never know when you may need to build a fire, indeed. Anything else around here? Anything else? Can we go ahead and, oh, hello, at the trap door, okay. So I don't see much else of anything so far. Oh, here we go, plenty over here. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Don't worry, friend. You'll have your chance someday. Again, half glass full. Chin up. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. <laughs> Simply awesome. That'll do, Reuben. That'll do, friend. And I think that's about it, right? Give it one more quick scan because Telltale loves to make it where they have things in these. So I'm just gonna make sure we're good. All right, let's get out, Ruben. We're rolling out. <laughs> Holy crap, no, that's a pretty sizable treehouse they got. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude, roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts, each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally, he's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. Ooh, that's right. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? Whoa, okay. Yeah, my, uh, source, uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Reuben oh. with us. We basically have no chance. Have a little faith. We'll be all right. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry. To win. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay, then. So how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. They both have their moments. Both pretty scary. 
Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. How about a zombie? Let's build a zombie. I guess that's kind of like a creeper. Eh, it's a monster. It's fine. We are so ready. Yeah. I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. There we go. Teamwork. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, 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 no. Preparing is daring. No, that's that's the same thing. Forget it. A team on three. One, two, three. Team. team. Prepare. Awesome. All right, we need supplies. Should we punching trees? Oh, there we go. Punching trees. Montage. Yep. Oh my gosh. No, definitely button mashing. Don't judge me. Oh, he's judging me. Don't judge me. That's right. We're going to do this. Oh, wow. No, we are definitely doing this. Oh my gosh. All right. We can do this training montage. Come on. Up, down, up, down. All the training. Punching, all the punching. We are really getting into shape. I don't know what that has to do with getting ready for the event, but we're getting there, right? Shearing, all the shearing of the sheep. That's right. We're punching of the wood. All the punching of the wood. Wow. I don't know about being ready, but we're definitely in shape. Training montage. We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh. Mm. Won't be saying that for oh, long. Great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Yeah, scoot along, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? Team. We are not ready for this. <laughs> so much for losing anonymously. We're the Nether Maniacs. You just thought of that right now? Yep. Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? Okay, Nether Maniacs, you guys are in booth five. Nailed ah. it. Ah! Ah! <laughs> It's okay, we got this, no worries. Booth two. Oh, we actually have to look around some of the other booths. Awesome. Let's see what these the competition's got. Hmm. Nope. Nothing. Okay, yeah, probably figured as much. Over here, booth five over there. Okay, well we can look at booth five in a minute. What else we got? Crowd. Okay, can we look at the crowd? Everyone in town is here. Okay, well, there was that. Booth. Booth two, okay, yeah. That guy's just over there chilling. Sign. What else can we look at around here? Oh, examining signs is nice, but still. I don't like the look of this. Booth four, okay, well, pay no attention to those losers. And what else do you have? What else do you have hidden here for us to examine? Okay, this guy is like totally intrigued by the torch. Look at him. He's like, yes, it's light. It's the brand new wave of the future. The light. The light. Group of people, booth three. And it's crowded. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Anything else we got? Competition doesn't look so fierce. Meanwhile, that guy is still staring at that torch. I built the torch. I've built light. I must win. I've built light. Okay. And I guess we go back to booth five. Is there anything else we didn't miss? Hold on. Telltale loves their hidden things. Get little snippets of goodies. And walk all the way around here. 
Pay no attention to the ocelots. Yeah, I guess we're back at the booth five. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. We're gonna lose. Our design is way cooler. A gigantic zombie is, is way cooler than a fancy light. There we go. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. I'm talking about your pig. Uh, you really shouldn't mess with Reuben. I do what I want. Besides, what arm can a pig do? Keep talking and find out. There you go. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. Yeah, Aiden. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. Really? If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are? Let's be nice about it. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition! The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet in person Gabriel the Warrior! Ocelot! Ocelot! Oh, jeez. Ocelot! Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We don't need a handshake. <clears throat> we'll just make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... The Builder Bump. There we go. All together, team. We could do this. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. Oh my gosh. This year, the Nether Maniacs can't lose. Let's do it. There we go. Building starts now. Let's do it. All right. Get the building, get the building, all the building, all the building, all the building. Oh no, a fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. <laughs> you worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. Yeah, you should be focusing on your stuff, not mine. Worry about your other things. We got this. Hurry, team. We got this. Don't delay. Really? Hmm. This is an interesting setup. I wonder what's going on. And now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. Worth a shot. This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. How could anyone not love a zombie? Good call, Jesse. Look at that. There we go. Everyone's noticing. Awesome. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. What? No way. That's it. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Ruben's on fire. Ruben, no. Come back. It was Aiden. That the lava's getting closer. It's going the build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. 